everyone, this is Amy. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you another design that I'm doing with the double filbert brush on a card. So this is easy card painting. Great for beginners. So we're going to go ahead and get started using a A-Magic long handled number 6 flat brush. The double filbert brush by Low Cornell and it's a number 10 and the number eight Deerfoot stippler and then a dotting stylus. Any dotting stylus will do. Using Moon Yellow, Wicker White, Berry Wine, Real Brown, Fresh Foliage, and Classic Green. These are all folk art paints, a combination between enamels and multi-surface paints. So let's go ahead and get started. I am going to be starting with the double filbert brush. I'm trying to get my paint on here. Now I am going to be double loading. I use each side of the brush. So one side of one of the filberts, the other side of the other filbert. One's going to go into berry wine and one's going in the wicker white and then I will do my loading brush strokes. Now you can do it in between if you want to do it like this and just you know stroke in between the two of them. You can definitely do it this way. I'm so used to doing it just by stroking in or touching in the sides into whatever paint color I want to use because I can also touch into it in a third color if I want. For the purpose of this video though, for the floral part of it, I'm just using the two colors for the, the leaf part. Alright, so I'm going to start my design. I'm going to just do a couple little pulls here just at the top to indicate or represent little buds. And I'm just doing a touch just on the side here, not flat, on the side, and then pulling down. Alright. So then I'm going to go over here on the opposite side and start my design. I'm going to just do some real easy brush strokes to start creating just a small open version of this flower. And then just keep going around, just kind of like I would a daisy really. I mean you can start at one, uh, 12 o'clock three, six, nine, whatever you want to do. I just start painting. But that's up to you, however you want to do it. And then I'm going to go around again just with a simple pull in the center. I don't know what I got in there. And do a ring around the center. It's kind of closing up my center of the flower a little bit. I don't have to close up the entire center because I am going to be pouncing in the center of it. So that's why I don't have to, you know, to close it all up. Alright, so then we're going to move down to the bigger flower. But the card space being as it is, that might not be so big because I don't have a whole lot of space, not like I did on my paper. So I will try to make it a little bigger, but it's not going to be huge by any means. Okay, and then I like to just curve as I go around. I mean, you can make them shorter, you can make your strokes longer, vary them up to you. And it's just so easy to create your own, like your own cards, your own gifts. When you think of homemade gifts, a lot of times I'm sure people will think of, oh my gosh, like a little kid's gift or whatnot. Not so much, not so much. And this cardstock that I'm using is actually meant for multimedia, so it's really good for a variety of types of paint. It's not just meant for acrylics. You can get some that are meant for watercolor if you want. It's strictly for watercolor. Alright, and then I'm going to come off here and try to simulate a smaller version, once again, of the design. We'll see how that goes. Yeah, I do all my, my designs on 
just regular size printing paper type paper. So then when I get onto a smaller surface, of course, then I have to make adjustments for the design based on that. And then I'm going to come down here, and I didn't really intend to line these up like this. They can be buried. It just depends on the amount of space you have. And this is just going to be like a curled up version of the flowers being in more like a bud state. Just pretty loose painting, which I like. I like more of a looser style of painting. Then I'm going to take my Deerfoot stippler, my number eight. I'm going to do the front part of it into the moon yellow, the back end of it into the heel of it, however you want to reference it into the real brown. Then I'm going to start tapping in my center. Now you can have your centers heading in different directions if you want to make it more of a loose looking design. That's fine. It's up to you. And like this one I'm going to have it just basically doing more of the regular front looking uh, center. Okay, and do this, and then this one's going to be going this. Now, this one, I could have really used a, a smaller deer foot, but it's okay. I like the big centers. I think they're cute. And it's okay. Alright, so like that. And I can just go around it like this if I want. Kind of give it a more of a look. Alright, next thing I'm going to do to the centers, I'm going to put some dots in. And I'm going to start with white dots. You can fill the entire center with these so that you can maybe see the underneath paint. I'm going to do just the bottom portion with the dots. You can do the white. You can just do, leave it at that. You can do it with the yellow. You can add all the colors there. The white, the yellow, the brown. Whatever you, however you want it to look. And I am putting some of the, the dots onto the actual petals of the flower. I like it to look that way. And they're just a very various size of dots. All right. All right, then I'm going to flip it around, flip the dotting stylus around, and then add in some yellow. I'm just doing two colors. You could do maybe even choose some various colors that correspond with this but aren't necessarily the identicals. questions while you're viewing this video, please put the questions down below. And since I only have one of the double filberts, I have to clean that out in order to be able to continue painting. So I'm dipping one side into the classic green, another side into the fresh foliage, and then I can dip a third color with you know, a little bit of the yellow if I want to go even more of a now, what would I say, more of a olive color than I would dip into the brown. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to do this as if we're pulling onto one stem. And I kind of like to have my stems be a little cur a wavy, curly, however you want to... Uh, now this one, 
Obviously it looks like it's going in here, but I'm going to pull it down like that. I want to make sure you're on my thing here. And that's going to be kind of whimsical. Again, I can just rotate this, vary it. It doesn't have to be all the same as far as even what kind of leaves I use on it or the colors that I'm using. And these are just like my little buds. They're kind of cute. And let's see on this one. I'm going to do them almost like they're buds too. Even though they're a little bit different than the ones that we just saw up here, the little ones. I'm going to do it like this. Do it like that. And then what I'm going to do is come back over. I'm going to set that brush aside for a moment. I rinsed out my double filbert and I am going to double load it with the two colors. Again, I can come back in and add the yellow if I want, but I, at this point I'm just going to do this for right now. And I'm going to create a different kind of a leaf. And I'm trying to do both sides at one time. We'll see how that works out. It's almost kind of like doing a pine a pine uh, looking leaf, but I'm not really intending it to be pine-ish. I'm doing the side, more like a side version of, and then I'm going to come through and pull it, and I'm pulling it towards the stem, not away, but towards it, towards the center of the leaf. Oops. Yeah, so I'm just pulling it towards it. I want it to be a little roughly, and I'm doing it more on the side of. I'm not doing flat. I'm doing it more like this side. I am putting a little yellow in it. Brighten it up a little bit. Maybe kind of even blend it a little bit, and then go like that. Now, if you don't like this leaf, you can do any leaf you want with it. It's not really intended to be that you have to do this type of this style of leaf. It's just something different I'm showing how to do. And I am going to overlap them. And it's just a matter of pulling. And then I come up my center and I can come up around it a little bit more. Or I can zig it, tag it a little bit. Could even add some white in here if I wanted to show up better against this other leaf. I could even add a little touch of, of white in it. Make it stand out a little more. You notice what I mean? So you can actually tell that there's two leaves on top of each other because they're the same color. And then I can bring a little stem over here and run it through the center if I want. And then just kind of fill it in, just kind of blend it a little bit. And there you have a couple little leaves. If you want to just do one leaf like that, you can. I'm going to do another one over on this side. Pull it like that. I'm going to put my center. Just very simple. Very simple. And I apologize, my air conditioning was just running. I do my videos down in my basement and my furnace air conditioning unit is down there so you will hear that from time a time in, on occasion I should say I guess not always running but runs a lot but it is very warm here so I guess that is to be expected alright so I put like that and I'm gonna do another one I think well, that's getting upside down here. I could do it. I'm going to do another one up here. I just want to put a few on here like this because I'm going to do my normal, my normal leaves too. That I like to do. Can't leave those out. 
and you can turn your turn your brush you know, maybe have some lighter color going and then the darker color but you can turn it keep adding varying the color some I'll pull that down like that I hope you can still see me and then put a little yellow in there like I said white would definitely make a pop more but I am not going to do the white I'm just sticking with the yellow when you go back in it starts to dry you see it might need a little bit more just feel free to do it now this one has a lot of yellow in it but that's okay all right so I got a few of those in I'm going to go ahead and load my brush again and then I am going to put in some of my my wigglier leaves because I do like that and you can do that with with this brush too I can do it with my other brush which I probably will pull over here and do here in a minute but I can definitely do it with this brush too let me switch on those because I can think I can do it better with this brush and again I can tap it into the white a little bit and I'm going to do that I think I'm going to switch it and have some of this code and I don't want it to be so over filled with paint that it's gross but I do want it to have good coverage and then pull it into this if I want can I get that in there and then I can come over here I just want a variety of styles of leaves I don't want just the one type so I'm going to do this pull it in kind of reminds me of a heart and I can pull it through here like that you don't have to go overboard with the leaves either I have a tendency to do that because I do like leaves you can stop your leaf creation any at any point you want you don't have to do it like I'm doing it because I know it can be crazy or I can be a little crazy with it I should say I am going to go this direction a little bit Kind of make sure I pull in some colors here. Like I said, see you can go over them if you want. Like that. All right. And you can just keep working on this until you get to the point where you've you are happy with it. Pull, pull in there. Stem, stem. Do the same over here. And throw a little white in there. Blend it a little bit better. I'm gonna put a little stem this direction too. All right, and then here we go. All right. I'm just gonna add a few more, and then we'll be done. Like I said, I can get a little heavy-handed with the with the leaf production. I get that. I am guilty as charged. <laughs> I just want to put something down here. I don't know. I think they're fun to create, actually. Let me put a little white with that. All right, all right. So there you have it. It's a lot of a lot of color going on in this card. I hope you like this video. 
Again, this was a demonstration of the Double Filbert. Very easy to use, a fun little brush. If you like this video, give me a big thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and notification bell. And when you are done watching the video, please share this on your social network with all your family and friends. I would appreciate it. And until the next time, you please stay healthy and safe, and you have a good one. Mm -hmm.